Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add a back to top button using Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to go into our website. And this is our website. So we are simply using the template from the starter templates. Okay, so how can we add back to top button in this? It's really easy. We just have to click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so here what you need to do, you have to create the icon here first. So I'm going to simply click on add new container. So this would be the flex box. All right. So I'm going to simply use a single column structure here. And then what I need to do, I just have to use the icon here. All right. So let's just drag this and put this here. And now what we need to do, we have to click on the icon. So since we want to go back to the top, so I'm going to simply use the arrow for that. All right. So I would actually like to use this arrow. Now let's click on insert. All right. So now what I need to do, I just have to click on the advanced settings and here what I need to do. So I have to change the value from default to the fixed. And now you will be able to see that we have our icon at the top here. And if I just scroll up, you can see that we have our icon at the fixed position. Okay. So what I want to do, I just want to put this on to the right bottom side somewhere here so how can we use this so it's really easy i just have to click on the horizontal orientation so this is going to be the right and i have to click on the vertical orientation so this would be bottom and i would need to create some space here all right so one thing that i would need to do is that i have to change the offset value okay but i would be adding the offset value so in the horizontal orientation this would be a viewport width and in the vertical orientation, this is going to be viewport height. All right. And here I'm going to simply add one here in both of these options. And now you can see this, we are having a space around our icon. So if I like to add more space here, so I'm going to simply write down two here. And this would be two as well. So I think we're going to go here with the four or maybe six. Okay. So this is looking better. And this would be three all right so i think this is looking fine now and what i need to do i have to change the icon color so i have to adjust the icon color with my template so let's click here and click on the style and here what i need to do let's just select the primary color so i think i will go here with kind of orange color all right so this is looking better all right so now what i need to do i can increase or decrease the size of my icon so i would simply change the size of my icon so this would be 40 maybe or i would go here with 50 or we can go here i think the 45 would be a fine value all right so this is basically on the desktop version so if i wanted to change this on to the tablet version i'm gonna simply pick another value here so this would be 40 and if i'm going for the mobile version so this would be a kind of 30. All right, so now this is looking better or we can use 35. Okay, so this is looking better. And we can also change the color here. All right, so I think the black color would look better. So let's just select the black color. Yeah, the black color is looking more prominent here. All right, so we're gonna go here with the black color. So let's just go back to the desktop version. All right, so now let's click on update. And now if I just click on the preview changes, you will be able to see our button here and if i scroll down you will be able to see that it is fixed on a single position so right now it's not a functional button so how can i make this functional it is really easy i'll just simply go back to the elementor editor all right so here what i need to do i just simply have to click on the container the top container and i would have to add the css id here so this is going to be scroll you can simply name it with anything you want. But right now I'm going to simply write down the scroll here. And now what I need to do, I have to add the ID here on this icon. So let's click on this and you can see the option of the link here. So now what I need to do uh, to add the ID, the CSS ID, I would first use the hash. Then I would simply write down the name of the CSS ID. So which was scroll. All right. So now if I just click on the update and now if I just go back to our website, and if I just scroll down and click on the icon, you will be able to see that we are going back to the top of our 
web page so this is how we can create back to top button so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel